I'm going to talk about the forebrain. The forebrain is it's located at the front part of the head. The forebrain is the largest part of the brain than any other brain. Also, the forebrain is highly folded. So, the forebrain it controls senses such as hearing, smelling, and feeling. Also, forebrain controls voluntary actions and it controls other activities such as memory, decision making, and reasoning. Thank you. I'm here to speak about, about the midbrain. This is the brain that is found here, between the forebrain and the hindbrain. This brain has got the following functions that I'm going to speak. The first function is the seeing mechanism. The seeing mechanism as it passes through the eye and going direct to the midbrain is where someone can determine what is near or around him. And also it has another function that is hearing mechanism. The hearing mechanism of someone when he's hearing something the hearing mechanism passes until to the midbrain. It's where someone can determine what has been spoken by someone. Thank you. And we are talking about the hindbrain. Hindbrain is also known as cerebellum. This hindbrain is located at the last part of the brain, here. This hindbrain has three main functions. The first one helps in body balancing. This works hand to hand with the ear. The second function help in locomotion in terms of movement. This brain helps a person to come from his home until he has existing issues. The third and the last function help in all involuntary activities such as breathing, heartbeat, and blood circulatory system. Thank you. I am here to explain about medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata it is located here. Medulla oblongata is the brain that helps to control fast, helps to control digestion. Digestion is the process of breaking down food into simple and soluble form and it can absorbed by the body. Digestion takes place in our mental canal. Second is used to control breathing. Breathing is the act of taking in oxygen and out carbon dioxide. Third is used to control blood circulatory. Blood circulatory refers to the whole body organs, tissues that involve in blood circulation. Fourth is used in heartbeat. Heartbeat 72 times per minute. The instrument used to measure heartbeat is called a stethoscope. Thank you. I'm going to talk about the hypothalamus brain. The hypothalamus brain is the brain that is found over here. This brain controls the autonomic activities. Example of the autonomic activities is like body temperature. The human body temperature is at 7 degrees of, of centigrade or 98.6 degrees of Fahrenheit. Another autonomic activity is like thirst, hunger, and sleep. Thank you. I'm here to mention the body systems controlled by the brain. Blood circulatory system, hormonal system, excretory system, breathing system, digestive system, and sense organs. Thank you. In front of you, I am here to explain for you how we can protect our brain. The first one is to drink clean and safe water. The second one is to have enough rest. The third one is to eat balanced diet rich in vitamin C, zinc, and calcium. The fourth one is to avoid activities that it can injure our brain. The fifth one is to avoid poor presses and vestresses as our brain need clean and fresh air. Thank you. Dear guest of honor, dear teachers, teachers, fans and peoples, we are saying that this is the brain that enables, will enable the candidates to do the exam on 6th and 7th of September. I'm wishing you a nice and celebrate well this graduation. Wazazi tuwapigia makofi ya watoto. Hini na shangaya, Sema na watoka hapa, wazazi hata kuinyoka kuja kuwatunza watoto wa mekatu, mekaria vite, emu watunze. Haa mambo ya lozungumza hapa ya nausu ubongo. Kuna ubongo kazi yake ni kukutuwa nyumbani na kukupeleka sehemu nyingine. Nani kasema yo? Nina niwe? Ewe ya hapa. Sasa, wamuongea mambo makubwa sana na mazuri, emu tu watunze kibogo. DJ, emu nomba mziki wazazi wazi kuwapongeza watoto. Yeah. Wazazi karibuni, tuwaza ta mkono wapongezi watoto hawa. Yeah, 
Watoto wa shule ya msingi hawana usumbufu. Watoto wa shule ya sekondari wana usumbufu. Sio kwa sababu ya mazingira bali kwa sababu ya stage. Sasa wanapoingia kidato cha kwanza cha pili badilisha mwelekeo. Vile ulivyokuwa unamlea kiwa shule ya msingi basi ubadilike na uweke nguvu zaidi anaingia sekondari. Jitahidi kuwa karibu kumfundisha makuzi na mabadiliko. Leteni watetenu Eden wadi wapate elimu bora kabisa. Tumeona yule mchezo wa daktari hapa. Na kumbuka madokta wachache wale madokta wadogo wadogo hii matatari kabisa. Naambia kuna daktar Dorothea na daktar Jester. Kiwa kwake wakwapi lakini pia palikuwa na daktar director Festus nimeguswa na vitu vingi sana lakini hawa wameonyesha kitu kikubwa mno na kama alivyoongea mkurugenzi kwamba wazazi mkiwaendeza watoto hawa basi watafika mbali na kufikia ndoto zao kuwa kama madaktari mkurugenzi na kuja kuwa daktar huyu huyu bwana 